Hey everybody, uh, Sunday afternoon, uh, I'm uh, back here on the Frisbee Golf Course, I went to my favorite park, and uh, I'll tell you, it was packed. Gorgeous day here today, um, it's warming up a little bit, the humidity's coming back a little bit, but it's still not too bad. Uh, I, I hear the, uh, after a couple, couple, three weeks of some unseasonably cool, dry weather, uh, we got... Uh, we got some heat and humidity coming back, and I understand it's going to come back with a vengeance. So, anyway, I'm I'm at my second favorite spot. So, I'm going to do a beer today from Oma Gang. I've had it before. I thought I'd reviewed it before, but um, I searched through my records, and uh, I apparently haven't. Uh, from Oma Gang, it's one of their uh, year-round beers. Um, the Rare Voss. They call it an, a Belgian Amber Ale. Um, from the website, it says ale brewed with sweet orange peel, grains of paradise, coriander, Belgian style cafe ale, mellow, fruity, spicy. Every day we race towards something. This should be one of them. Rare Voss was made to reward your victories. And profile, it says malts, pilsner, aroma, and caramel, hops, steering, and golding, uh, spices, coriander, sweet onion peel, grains of paradise, the yeast, the usual, the Oma Gang house yeast. Um, 6.5% ABB, 21 IBUs. Um, Rare Voss is Flemish for Sly Fox in the name of one of Brussels' great cafes. It has a sweet, fruity malt character and yeasty spiciness. A fine dose of yeast permits the beer to mature and mellow in the bottle. So, let me get this cork off this thing. Get it in my glass and see what we have. It's been a while since I've had it. and I picked it up the other day and just to drink and then I realized I hadn't reviewed it so what the heck nice pop nice smoke good beer so let's uh, get this in the glass I'm gonna use my my Oma Gang glass I think this is technically a variation on a tulip but get a little aggressive there on the end uh, Definitely a big bottle. I'm going to cap it up. I might add some more later, but uh, before I finish the review, but for now I'm going to cap it up. Keep that carbonation in there. Uh, it's a nice amber color. Got a couple fingers of a, a slightly off white uh, eggshell colored head again. Really foamy, really creamy looking. Uh, bunch of carbonation streaming up though there's a lot of carbonate it's well carbonated there's a lot in that so let's get a nose on it okay yeah that's really fruity um little plum maybe a little anise a little apple pear getting some citrus um a bit of the spices um not a lot um Definitely getting their, their uh, Oma Gang house yeast. I think they use that in everything. A little bit of a clean malt, but this is mostly um, yeast and uh, yeast and spice forward, that's for sure. Not a ton of maltiness in there. There may be just a hint of clove and a hint of ripe banana, but uh, really nice smelling, uh, as they say, Belgian, Am Belgian Amber Ale. So let's give it a taste. Okay, now you're getting a little more of that malt um, on, the, on the flavor than uh, on the aroma. Um, you're getting a sweet, some sweet caramel malt, some, some uh, 21 IBUs. This is a sweet beer, that's for sure. Uh, you're getting some apples, some plums, um, maybe just a hint of vanilla. Getting those slightly earthy uh, yeast notes and uh, some slight... Uh, Slight citrus notes, a um, little bit of that spice. Uh, the the spices they added are not really coming through a ton. Um, maybe a little bit of a like overripe banana in there. It's almost like a almost like a weedy, a pretty weedy hefeweizen in, uh, in a way. Really nicely balanced flavor though. There's lots of those sweet fruits. Um, and the citrus hops and and then the yeast um, very well balanced beer it's a medium body as you can see there's a ton of carbonation there 
uh, really, really highly carbonated, but um, that, in spite of that, it's relatively smooth. Um, good drinking. Uh, you're not getting a, there's a little tingle on the tongue from the carbonation, but not a lot. So, let me sit. I'm going to add a little more to this, and uh, I know this is a nice, easy drinking beer, so I'll add a little more, and I'll sit and sip on this a while, and I'll come back in a few with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's been 20 minutes or so. I filled the glass up. Um, as you can see, it's about half gone already. Uh, leaving some nice lacing down there, down the glass. The head really never, uh, really never disappears. It dissipates a little, but uh, it sticks around real easy to gener regenerate. Um, overall, this is a pretty good offering from uh, uh, from Oma Gang, um, as most of their beers are. Um, <clears throat> it's definitely a uh, a hop and yeast uh, forward beer, not. Uh, the malts are there, but they play they play a background role, a very minimal. Uh, primarily the hops and the yeast, and uh, between those two, the balance of the flavors and the uh, relatively high carbonation. There's still a lot of bubbles streaming up even after 20 minutes, um, making it a very uh, very easy to drink. Uh, I call it. I uh, they they market this as a Belgian amber. I'd almost say it's more like a Belgian pale ale, but that might be my opinion. But uh, that is just my opinion. But uh, I think it's more of a Belgian pale ale than a Belgian amber. But still a darn good beer. Um, really easy to drink, uh, tasty, well balanced. Um, so I'm gonna have to give the Oma Gang Rare Voss one of their. Uh, year-round beers I'm gonna give it a good solid uh, 9 out of 10 if you see it on the shelf uh, pick it up I think you'll like it uh, especially if you like uh, in my case Belgian pale ales or just Belgian beers in general Oma Gang makes some good stuff I, I wish they'd use a the only thing I wish they'd use a wider variety of yeast um, they're, they, I think they use their Oma Gang house yeast and everything and that yeast flavor sort of sort of in a way makes everything taste all the same but they're still pretty darn tasty so uh, nine out of ten um, till next time everybody cheers let's keep drinking good beers now on to review number 600 and I got a special one picked out I, I think it's a good one so uh, I got next couple days off too so probably do hopefully do number 600 tomorrow so and I'm approaching uh, 1,000 subscribers. The last I checked was 991, so it may, be a, it may be a double special occasion if I hit 1,000 by tomorrow and 600 reviews. Can't get much better. 1,000 subscribers. I can't do it without you guys. Cheers to all of you. I really appreciate all the comments and everything. Sorry I'm so slow in getting back to responding. I'll try to try to respond to some today. Try to get them cleared out. I've got like 50, 50 comments to respond to in my uh, in my uh, on my profile so gotta get to them and I'll try to do it today so cheers everybody and thank you all for subscribing this has been a hell of a ride